here I am showing you how to do the multi-sim part of the first experiment. So for the first experiment you need two transistors, uh, four, five resistors and a function generator and a CRO. So first go to the place component in that take the transistor. So you have to take BC107. You can type it over here. BC, it will come BC107BP. Take it as. You need two transistors. So to take two BC107. Now go to resistors. Resistors will be available in the group basic. Go to that. Select resistor. Now don't look the value of resistor. You can change it later. So Take the required number of resistors and keep it on the screen. So one here, one here, one here and two base resistors. One comes here, one comes here. Then you need to power supply plus VCC and minus VEE. So for the power source, go to source, power source in that. Take VCC as plus power supply. Don't look the value now. You can change it later. And minus V comes here. Put it down. And uh, you need ground. So how many ground do you need? Just take that. You need a ground at the input side first. You need a ground uh, maybe here. You need a ground for CRO connection. So take required ground connection and keep it. Now, that many components only you need. See, this transistor should be connected in a horizontally flipped manner because the other direction. So, I just flip horizontally. So, both the transistor now I can move according to my requirement. Now, this resistor it is 90 degree clockwise. Take it as this resistor also 90 degree connect this connect this thing so just move away and see whether it is connected or not sometimes it may not connect see this is not connected so just move it and just check it it is connected or not the red wire comes means it is connected now this two should be interconnected now this VCC should be connected here. And remember the value of VCC is 9 volt. So change double click and change the value. This resistor value is 2.2 kilo. So double click and change it. This resistor value is also 2.2. So double click and change it. That's done. Now, this resistor is connected here and this is connected to the base. The value of these resistors are 100 kilo. So, type it as 100 K. Done. Now, these two emitters are interconnected. Then this resistor should be connected to the emitter. And the value of this resistor is 10 kilo. And uh, this should this should be vertically flip vertically and connect it over here. The value of minus V should be The value of minus V should be minus 9 volt. So do that. Now you need to connect a function generator. You are taking the case for single input unbalanced output. So input you connect the function generator and take the value of function generator frequency as 1 kilohertz sine wave amplitude is you are taking 20 millivolt peak to peak that means 10 millivolt 
10 millivolt you have to take here millivolt range and 10 millivolt peak that means 20 millivolt peak to peak you selected that that is the input now you have to take the second one input you are not connecting anything that is the grounds because it is single input and go to see, now select oscilloscope for seeing the output so one of the oscilloscope I am going to connect the input and uh, one channel I am connecting input second channel output will be taken from the collector of any transistor both the transistor both the collector same output will come so this is the output I hope that connection is now finished now input we set now we can run the program check the output now reverse the screen because it by white background only will be when you are taking printout white background only will come as clearly now it is 10 millisecond because we are giving 1 kilohertz keep it around 1 millisecond and we are giving in millivolt range see both the channel it is showing in volt per division so keep it as millivolt range then only you can see your output say I am keeping 20 millivolt because our input is 20 so both channel I am keeping 20 millivolt now one channel I'll take up second channel I'll take slightly down both channel keep it in AC okay both keep it in AC so sec keep the ground and put slightly down for a second this is the output this is the input now check the AC voltage now see this is one division multiplied by 20 millivolt around 20 millivolt is your input you can check your output the output will be around just take it little up 1 2 around 3 3 multiplied by 20 60 millivolt so around 3 you will be getting the gain as you got in the same in the lab so this is the way you have to do so now not after this please write your name also in the multi sim screen so go to here place in that you can see text so here you click it write your name I'm just writing that name your ID number then your experiment num name if it is first experiment so it is the differential amplifier so experiment name and date these many details should be there in your screen so after taking this get the output take the print screen and put it in the report so this is the multi sim part you have to do hope that's clear for you thank you now second part that means this is a single input unbalanced output case so the same the same way you have to repeat it for common mode case also both the results you need to submit in your lab report